Good morning. This morning I'm going to use my BusyArt bridal palette and I'm going to go on this side, which is this side if you have one and are looking at it. So um, I could say it's scary and I'm nervous, but how silly to say that about makeup. You can just wipe it off and start over. But I'm afraid that they're going to be my colors. But this segment is brought to you by JBS Farm Soaps. And this morning I'm going to show you the Fruit Splash Bath Bomb. And uh, I don't have my glasses, let's see, but it's baking soda, citric acid, kaolin clay, fragrance oil, and colorant is all that's in there. And I put a little body safe glitter on the very top. And oh my gosh, fruit splash is amazing. Kids will love it, so I made them into little fish. <laughs> little, and that way um, you can have like three baths out of it. Also, I made cotton candy bath bomb. This uh, fruit splash is a lot stronger, and it just smells, it's not juicy fruit gum, but it's its a bunch of fruits just bursting with juice. And the cotton candy, it smells just like the cotton candy at the fair, and I think that'll be a really fun tub, kids or me. <laughs> and, uh, I, you know, I can't stop. I get so excited about all what I make. So I'm showing you my gardener soap with oh, cornmeal, pumice, betonite clay, and it is scented sandalwood lemon. Oh, it's a refreshing scent. The sandalwood isn't too heavy because I'm not a big sandalwood. I feel like I'm getting splinters, but it gives it a good base. It's perfect for gardener's soap. Okay, let's do the makeup part. Now I'm a little afraid of the blue, but so I'm not gonna take my big old shader brush and scare myself. I'm gonna do a littler shader brush. And I'm going to go into it gently. Ooh, one little dab. And let's see what happens. It turns kind of silvery on me. Let's try it for the brow bone part, too. Just right there. That kind of buffs it in when you do both sides. I'm going to do a little more on this lid. Probably should be doing inner corner. You know, I get tired of all the same old, same old, I mean, everybody wears nude lips, everybody wears such neutral eyes, and then, you know, a demo on that, let's do a demo on some crazy stuff that you know, I probably won't do, <laughs> won't try, let's see, so I'm just keeping that real faint, because I think what I'm going to wind up doing is a smoky eye with this guy, so why not, why not, huh, all I can do is wipe it off. Here we go. This is what I've been using for liner all these other videos. Let's just lay it on all the lid and wipe it up. And you have to hold your lid when you're old because everything sags and travels with the brush. That's not too bad. Get a little more. Close my mouth. And I didn't bring any other liner out, so I'm just going to keep using the liner that I'm using from the palette, which is the shadows themselves. Then I'm going to take the Beauty Essence, Essence of Beauty, and go underneath and hit that corner. Well, that grabbed right there, so we just keep blending. That's the nice thing about this palette. You can just keep blending. And then let's hit this corner. Make it look like the other one. And drag it underneath. The reason this is sticking is because I'm afraid to go there. It's so close to my waterline that it kind of feels funny when I rub a brush on it. Then... This <laughs> dark one. <laughs> what are we going to do? Line or outer corner? What the heck? Let's do outer corner. That's exciting. And up into the crease. Make your eye look into a sphere again. Let's go clear up to that silver at the top. 
Well, that's not bad, especially if I was 20. <laughs> More of the blacky one. I'm just barely dipping into it, as you can guess. I scared myself that two days ago one that I just went push and back. And I get back to the Essence of Beauty brush and go into that black. And let's go right here and press a little harder and make it kind of like a liner. Ooh, that's coming out pretty good. So even if you're scared, heck, give it a try. You never know. Today I have to go to a, it's Father's Day, but I have to go to a memorial. So my, a friend of mine's husband died a couple months ago, and so she wanted to do his memorial today. I used to work in a photo lab with her. We'd uh, print people's pictures. Oh my gosh, it was funny. Most people don't take very good pictures. And um, we'd have to balance the color. We'd have to balance the color and um, try to make them look as good as we could. Most people have trouble, and I did too, um, with exposure. That's the hardest part, but oh man. You know, like, don't take a picture of somebody standing with the sunlight behind them and not flash because you're not gonna see them. They're just gonna be black. Then, I think that's pretty good so far. So that was this side. I used this as kind of a liner with a fatter brush. And I used this on the lid. And then this was kind of underneath everything. So, well, those aren't my favorite colors. That's not bad. Let's use some better than sex. And I pre-curled my lashes. How do you like that? Pre-owned, pre-curled. I curled my lashes before I came out here. And I always end up getting it, I don't know how, but on my lid. And then I squint, get the bottom ones. It kind of pushes them out when you squint. And then sometimes I just run it along the tips, and that seems to add a little length sometimes. So that's good enough for this job. Um, let's do lips. And I thought, you know, I still want to stay bright because those nudes just go away on me. But I don't want to be too bright because i got all this going on. So, already a spot. Nice. So I'm using my, so I'm using my Estee Lauder Automatic Lip and Pencil Duo in... Corals, rose coral. So here it goes. And I'm going to follow the line. And I feel like my lips are too fat when I do that. What are the little white dots that are in, under the skin? I always wondered that. Yeah, I need to exfoliate. So let's just cover it up. <laughs> Clear out to the line. All right, and then I rub that in, and then I'm going to use the um, frosted apricot from Estee Lauder. And look at how that pencil has toned it down. Out to the edges. I take the bottom of it and do the heel a little bit around there. But, just because you're here, let's do the, um, passion fruit. See, all it does is add gloss. And what do you mean? What do you mean when you're old you can't wear gloss? I mean, wear whatever you want. As long as it's tasteful. So, I think that's, oh no, I was going to show you what, um, perfume I'm wearing today, and I didn't wear my glasses. This is Atelier Cologne and it's in Mandarin Glacial and it's not a rollerball it's a little sprayer and let's go oh it is a cr not crisp it's a deep orange oh I love it because it's kind of a green orange and but pretty much just orange and that's Mandarin Glacial Cologne 
Must be atomizer. Colon something. Too bad I don't have my glasses, but that's what it looks like. I don't know if you can read it or not. But a cute little sprayer. And so that would fit in your purse and not leak. So I curled my hair for you guys. I'm on my little Forever 21 old earrings. See, I haven't spent anything um, in a long time. Um, this was a gift. I uh, bought the SD Lauder three or four years ago. I purchased this. I was just too enthralled when everybody kept saying, when I kept hearing, oh, once you buy this, you won't need any of your other, well, who wants to give up their other stuff? But that has been the bridal palette. I think my favorite so far has been the purples, which surprised me because I thought they were going to, well, these were the scariest. But um, I really like these on my brown eyes. And this is a real easy, let's this one too, easy color to wear, this strip. Um, and if you like uh, taupes, that second one. And these dark ones are great for liners. Now, I don't know what else you could use that silvery blue for. Probably inner corner. Oh, I should have done that, shouldn't I? Let's do inner corner. You know, I had a NARS color like this, and I gave it to Jessica. What was it? It wasn't very dicey. It was, it had purple, and then it had this ice blue. Can't remember the name of it. I'll have to look it up. But, um, I saw it on somebody, and they took it just in this corner and had it. Oh, she was, oh gosh, she was probably in her 20s and just had thick hair and a blondish, kind of dishwater blonde. Anyway, it was stunning on her. Maybe I should do, I keep doing, let's do more. I think I, it's a little tough to open sometimes and I just don't want to stick my thumbnail on it. Let's do waterline. Let's do it with this blue. Since I'm kind of smoky. Oh, that's splotchy. Let's do a better job. Let's try the black. <laughs> See which we like better. I think I'm gonna like the black because I'm kind of dark today. I think I like this side, so I'm gonna do that. I know you just said that side, but I can't hear you very good. There. Now I'm dramatic. Oh, now I can feel it in my waterline. <laughs> So thank you for joining me. JBS Farm thanks you so much for your support. I can't tell you, um, your, your, well, not only your comments, your friendship, but oh my gosh, you people have really supported me and I so appreciate each and every sale. Thank you very much. Um, it's so much fun making it for you and it is, thank you so much. And it's, it's always made with you in mind and love in my heart for you. So thank you ever so much. So until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.